This man is a true Spartan champion, just ready to rain on everybody. It's the effect, the death effect of the uh, the Sakina and the Bryson. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at Nick Merckson freaking in this game. Actually. So uh, what's up guys? It's here here by Nino Orquaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer and Warzone 2. In today's video, we're going to be covering a very special store bundle known as the Tracer Pack Nick Merck's Operator Bundle. And this is a crazy bundle because it's actually a bundle on a real content creator that uh, uploads and streams or has uploaded and streamed Call of Duty in the past and is now in the game. And that is Nick Merck's, which is actually pretty cool. We also have the Tim the Tatman bundle. I will cover the Tim the Tatman bundle uh, later on in another video later on today. So you make sure you guys check out that video after watching this video if it's already up. Up, or just wait an hour or two and I'll have it up uh, eventually. But today, I wanted to cover the Nick Merckx bundle here in this video. And it comes with two Tracer blueprints, one for the Bryson 890, uh, another for the Sakine MG38. And this actually has two operator spin, uh, skins for Nick Merckx. Also, I am a little bit sick, but we're going to go ahead and go through this bundle, these bundle videos, and give you guys the best content. If you guys are excited to see everything in this bundle, see what's up with the Nick Merckx operator skin and how it compares with Tim the Tagman's bundle uh, in the future video. And make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I'll show how the guns look like with their camos, show anything secret about this bundle, and I also upload sword bundles pretty consistently on this channel, as well as Warzone 2 gameplay and anything else that interests me. So there's always a lot of hype on this uh, channel. So yeah, with all that being said, I just want to say thank you guys for being here and dealing with my sick voice. I'm going to try to stay strong throughout this video and show you guys uh, what's up with this bundle. But without further ado, let's check out this bundle. So starting things off, we got the Nick Merckx Operator skin, the one with the Spartan helmet, and he legit looks like a freaking Spartan. It also comes with the finishing move, kicking it. And as you guys can see, he looks uh, pretty freaking great. It just, uh, there's a lot of great design into his uh, red and black sort of style. You see his Nick Merckx logo if you're, you're a fan of him. And I don't really watch Nick Merckx like crazy. I used to watch him during like the Fortnite days when Fortnite was really popular. I would watch him and Ninja because I really liked watching him during Fortnite. And uh, he looks pretty great. I don't know. I, th I think this is a really dope skin. It's probably the better skin out of uh, him and Tim the Tatman. I think he has the better operator skin personally. And then he also has a second skin known as Nick Merckx Hooded. And it's pretty much the same skin, however he doesn't have the Spartan helmet, instead it's his real face but with a hoodie over it. Which is still pretty cool in my eyes, and I think he looks pretty freaking fresh. For his first gun, we got the Sakin MG38 LMG, known as the Fate, and it comes with red crimson spark tracers and the branded death effect. And as you guys can see from the tracer preview here, when you body them, he actually has his logo pop out. Imagine if we get a million likes on this video and Call of Duty notices us, and we get the hero logo as a death effect like that. I would be cool with that or like a hero decal, but seeing a, a cr fellow creator get something like this is pretty crazy. And this is the class setup that comes with the Sakin MG38. It doesn't come with am any ammunition, so you can't put these tracers on other LMGs, uh, sadly. So you only have it on the Sakin MG38, but it's a pretty clean looking gun. Next up, we also have the Bryson A90 Plan A, which also comes with the Red Crimson Spark branded uh, death effects and tracers. And as you can see, it also shows off the Nick Merckx logo, which is actually pretty dope. Here's the, uh, the the attachments that it has. It also doesn't have any ammunition, unfortunately, so you won't be able to put any tracers on any other shotguns. But it is a Bry Bryson 890 blueprint. It might be the first tracer one. I'm not really sure, but pretty clean looking. Next up, we also got the finishing move kicking it, which I'll show off in, you know, when I get into a private match and show you guys how it looks like. We also have the weapon charm of Nick Merckx. The loading screen known as Legionary, which looks really clean, actually. A loading screen of, of like, myself would actually be just crazy. Weapon sticker known as the MFAM, and the emblem known as the Spartan Merc. And you get all of this for 2400 COD points. In my opinion, the Ws are probably going to be the finishing move and the operator skins. The guns aren't all that crazy, and they aren't really the most popular guns. But uh, his, his skin is pretty fire in my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and cop it, and let's go ahead and uh, show off these guns in the menus and see what's up with them. So here we have both the Fate Sakin MG38 and the Plan A Bryson A90. And with the Sakin MG38, here are the attachments. Like I said, it doesn't have an ammunition, so just don't change the ammunition. You'll still keep the tracers. And keep in mind, you can't put these tracers on any other gun. So when it comes to the camos, here are the camos that it looks like on the base camos. Here's how gold looks like on the gun. Here's how platinum looks like on the gun. It actually looks really clean. Here's polyatomic, which looks pretty fresh in my opinion. And Orion, so... 
Uh, Platinum through Orion. It looks really clean with the camos. When it comes to the yellow fun camo, that's how it looks like. The speckled camo there. Uh, Party time, pixel coast, rad reverb. But when it comes to the solid color camos, looks pretty fresh when you, you know, kind of mix colors with it. So if you're a Sakeen MG38 fan, uh, you're, you're going to see a lot of fun uh, with this blueprint because it actually blends really well with a lot of these camos. Like, ooh, these CDL camos look really clean with it, at least with the default attachments, of course. But W camo and blueprint combinations for sure. And here's the Bryson A90 Plan A, and here are the attachments once again. Keep in mind, you can't change any of the ammunition or add an ammunition, you'll lose the tracers. And keep in mind, you can't put any of these tracers onto other weapons. And uh, when it comes to the camos, here's how it looks like on base camos, which is actually pretty clean. And here's how it looks like with gold. Here's how it looks like with platinum, pretty fresh. Uh, Polyatomic looks really great with the red and purple combination and Orion. So pretty clean mastery camos in my eyes. Here's how the yellow speckled camo looks like, the fun camo or whatever you should call it. The dark violet is also something I like to show off. And when it comes to the solid color camos, uh, it looks pretty nice. I still think the Sakin looks a little bit better, but uh, using the default attachments, the gun looks pretty great in my eyes. And then here are the event camos, if you're curious. And honestly, with the, the camos, these guns look really great. Both of them are pretty much Ws in my eyes, at least with the default attachments. And now we're going to see how the guns look like with their meta class setup designed for multiplayer. So here are the default attachments for the Sakin MG38 Fate. And here are the meta attachments for the Sakin MG38 Fate. And yeah, it still loses some of its look, but I think it still looks pretty clean because you still have the mag, you still got the re rear grip, and you can add a solid color camera to give it a little bit more pizzazz. These are kind of plain looking guns, so I think they, they, they're accentuated a little bit more when you put on camos, which is kind of nice. Here's the default attachments for the Plan A Bryson 890. And here are the meta attachments for the Plan A Bryson 890. And unfortunately, it does look lose a lot of its like color a lot of the red look like you could just take off the sh five shell mag and just run four attachments just because you don't really need a fifth attachment on this gun i feel like it's just i like running this mag because it gives you a little bit more movement speed ads speed and to fire speed and this gun's reload is really quick so you could do that and or you could just add a camo to give it a little bit more pizzazz so it is going to be a little bit plain looking but it is the best way to kind of run this gun and here we have our man nick Merckx looking pretty clean in the background of the menu and just so you guys know, he is part of the core tag team, or as uh, Tim the Tatman is part of the spec group team. So you, they are going to be on separate teams if you play multiplayer, which is kind of dope. You can have both of them uh, running at the same time. And yeah, you do come with uh, both skins, basically. And here's how the hooded uh, Nick Merck skin looks like in the background. I'm going to show off uh, how both look like in third person mode after showing off the guns and the traces and all that. But uh, yeah, without further ado... Let's get into a game and show off these tracers and the finishing moves. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the uh, Sakin MG38, and it looks really freaking mighty and brolic. Looking absolutely beautiful. You can see a little bit of the Nick Merckx logo all over the gun, on the mag, on the scope, on the side of the gun. Looks pretty fresh. And here is the Plan A Bryson A90, which also looks really fresh. I do like the design of these guns, a little bit more clean. I still wish uh, Nick Merckx did a little bit more with the design of the gun, but here are the tracer rounds. Nice little red crimson spark. So it's like meteor, mete meteoric, I guess you could say. Just some simple like red spark traces, which I think look pretty fresh. And I'm gonna take off the scope of the Sakin just so we can see how the iron sights look like real quick uh, for the Sakin MG38. And her here are the iron sights of the Sakin MG38. Nice little red like base and uh, pretty clean look, I'd say. And this doesn't doesn't have like a red tracer laser effect. I mean, the laser might be like a, a bright orange, but I don't think that's really uh, anything special. And now let's check out the uh, the tracer effect, the death effect of the uh, the Sakin and the Bryson. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just a little simple tracer effect, and then you get to see the Nick Merckx logo pop up as they die, which is pretty simple, but that's all you really need for something like this. Like, I think that's pretty cool. You could have done something a little bit more, more with the sparks, maybe, but I think that's pretty dope in my eyes. And now let's show it off with the Bryson 890 real quick. And there you go. Nice little uh, tracer uh, death effect. So nothing too extraordinary. Just a nice little cool tracer effect if you're a fan of Nick Merckx. And now let's see the finishing move real quick. Okay, nice little kick. You know, we'd be kicking it out here. 
And now they see the finishing move when they're laying down. Ooh, that was a hard freaking kick right there at the end. Just lifted up his legs and crushed them. And now let's see what the finishing move looks like when they're downed. Nice little two kick finisher. So yeah, that was the finishing moves for Nick Merckx. I think Tim the Tabman has better finishes. I think overall this bundle, it has like whatever guns in my opinion, whatever uh, finishing moves, whatever tracer effects. I think the better bundle is gonna be Tim the Tabman overall. I just think the operator skins on the Nick Merckx bundle are better, but everything else Tim has the advantage on because that M4 and that Lockman sub is pretty fire, as well as that finishing move, which you guys will see in the Tim the Tapman video. And now let me switch to my meta loadouts, just so you guys can see that with my own class setup, I will still have the tracers. And as you guys can see, I still have the tracers on my mo my own meta loadout. So keep in mind, if you want to keep the tracers on any sort of, uh, you know, tracer gun, don't mess with the ammunition, leave the ammunition the same and you will be good but yeah let's go into third person mode and check out the, the both of the uh nick Merckx operator skins in third person mode let's rock and roll so here we are in third person mode with the nick Merckx operator skin the uh the spartan one and this is actually kind of tight you got you get to see the whole cape you got the whole like ponytail of the the spartan helmet kind of showing and honestly it's a pretty fresh one so in third person mode i think there's a huge w i think it looks really nice and uh w on nick Merckx for having the very good operator skin i think it looks really sweet uh but yeah let's switch over to the hooded nick Merckx skin and uh see how it compares okay so here we are with the hooded uh nick Merckx skin and honestly it's pretty clean too i think i prefer the uh the spartan skin though the spartan skin is definitely a little bit more cleaner in my eyes just because it's uh, a little bit more vibrant with the helmet but hey if you prefer a simple more hooded version of nick Merckx. Well, you got that right here, which is still pretty cool. And I thought I'd show off a finishing move with this skin as well, just because I showed off the other finishing moves with the Spartan skin. But let's see this. Look at Nick Merckx and freaking in this game, actually just just bodying somebody. But yeah, that is the uh, the Nick Merckx operator bundle. Honestly, not the best bundle. They could have done a little bit more, but I, I think Nick was a little bit too busy to be more involved with this bundle because he had a, a baby on the way. So he was kind of rushed in terms of like the whole creation process of this. Tim the Tatman had a lot more in depth and more time with the developers to kind of design his bundle. So it makes sense that Tim would have the better bundle, but he, Tim or Nick does have the better operator skins. He just doesn't have the best finishing moves, the best guns, the best anything else besides the loading screen. I think the loading screen is really nice. Whoever did the art for that. But, uh, but if you like the operator skin, I think this is a huge W. But otherwise, if you love Nick Merckx, you want to support him, I'm pretty sure, you know, money goes towards him as well as Call of Duty for buying this bundle. So if you're a fan of him, go ahead and cop it. And maybe one day, you know, if we get to this video to a million likes, maybe uh, Activision will notice us and put a hero skin in the game. I don't know what the heck it would be, but I think that'd be kind of cool. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even though I was sick, I had to plow through it. And we still got to record the Tim the Tatman video. So, uh, you know, just st stay tuned on the channel. It'll be up in an hour or two, or maybe it's already up by the time you're watching this video. Just keep an eye out for the Tim video. I'm very excited to show you guys that one. But keep being big ballers. I really freaking love you all. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this bundle. And uh, make sure you guys use code ballergfuel.com. I really freaking love you all. Stay awesome. <laughs>